Happy holidays everyone and welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I have my daughter Rihanna with me today. Hi. Now she is 18 years old. Every holiday she likes to bake cookies and put them in tins and give them out to her friends. And today she came up with a recipe that she wanted me to make that she found and it's called Millionaire's uh, Fudge. Millionaire's Fudge. Now, it's a simple four ingredient recipe and you can add a fifth ingredient if it's an option. So you can add that if you'd like. Okay, are you ready to get started with this one? I am. She's never made fudge before, so this will be really fun to do. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step we're going to do is make sure you lay down several sheets of some wax paper or parchment paper. You want to have that ready once we get the fudge going, okay? So step number one. Okay, step number two is we're going to use a large bowl. Now you can use a large bowl attached to your stand mixer and we can mix it that way or you can use just a large bowl and hand mix our fudge, okay? But today Rihanna and I are going to be using the stand mixer so she's going to be taking two jars of some marshmallow cream. Now these are seven ounces each and she's going to put them into our stand mixer here. And then to that, we're going to add 36 ounces of chocolate chips. Now, that's a lot of chocolate chips, but you know, it can make a lot of fudge, so and she's happy about that because she can put them in the tins and give them out to her friends. So, so when she gets those in there, we're going to go ahead and add the chips, and then we're going to go on to step number three. This is the good stuff, y'all. Marshmallow cream. <laughs> it's very delicious. Really great around the holiday times, too. I used this for my hot chocolate poke cake. If you haven't seen that video yet, oh my gosh, you need to go check that out. That was really good. Okay, I'm going to add the chocolate chips. Now I've got kind of a mix of just regular morsels and mini, mini morsels there. That's what I had in my pantry. These are semi-sweet. Okay, one more thing. What we're going to do is just go ahead and attach the paddle to the mixer here if you're using your stand mixer. Okay, now we're on to step number three. Now I'm going to have Rihanna take four and a half cups of sugar and put it into a large pot. Now we don't have it on yet, okay? So go ahead and do that. Now while she's doing that, I'm going to open up a can of evaporated milk. Now this is a 12 ounce size. And once we get all of that put into there, we're going to bring it to a boil. Now you're going to pour this all over it very carefully. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and turn our burner on to a medium. Let that start heating up. While that happens, she's going to take her spatula here and start stirring that up. Okay, now we've got it all mixed up, so what she's doing is just lightly stirring this until we get it to come to a boil. Okay, now that we've got a boil going on, it's just a light boil here, we're going to stir this continually for six minutes while it's at the boiling stage, and then we're going to bring you back. Okay, so also make sure that you're scraping the bottom of your pan also to get the sugars up and stirring into the mixture here. So you don't want to burn your sugars. And if you think your heat's too high, you can turn it down. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. All right, what we're going to do now is turn off the burner. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take a big ladle and we're going to spoon out the sugar mixture and put it right into the chocolate chips. And you want to be kind of quick about it so that sugar doesn't stick to your pan here. All right, go ahead. I'm just going to go around the sides here.
All right, we're going to go ahead now and place our mixer on a medium speed. All right, so what we're looking for is this to be nice, smooth, and creamy and all mixed well. All right, I'm just gonna take a spatula and pull down the sides. Okay, now at this stage, if you wanna add nuts to it, you can, and that was the fifth ingredient, kind of an optional step. Now we're skipping that step today because she just wants regular fudge. So we're gonna go ahead now and start dropping these onto our wax paper or your parchment paper. Now, I've just brought some parchment paper over here so that y'all can see us do this. Now, what you want, you could use two tablespoons, and then just go in, and then you're going to get in about whatever, you know, whatever you want to make size, about two tablespoons. Then use the other spoon to kind of pull it off, and then you can kind of shape it, just like that. And you want to be kind of quick with this because it will start setting in your bowl there. I have a traditional fudge recipe that we made into bars. So um, I did those a couple years ago and I will link that one down below if you want to check that one out also. Oh, you're not going to wait, are you, until they're solid? Uh oh. <laughs> there goes my husband. Oh my god. Is it good? Oh, oh man. That is so good. These are Rihanna's for her, her friends. Yeah. You're her friend, aren't you? I sure am. <laughs> Today. <laughs> right now, anyway, huh? <laughs> okay, so our fudge has set for a couple of hours. What we're going to do now is Rihanna's going to fill her Christmas tin here with probably about three layers of these. And that way, they'll have plenty of those. So, we're going to put four, and then we're going to layer And then what you want to do, once you get your fudge in there, let's see, maybe we can put one more in there. Yep. And then we're going to lay a piece of parchment paper or wax paper about the size of your container and just place that on top. And then we're going to layer some more fudge on top of that. Okay, there is our millionaire fudge, Rihanna's recipe that she found for us to make for her. <laughs> so we're going to give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> Alright, did y'all see that? <laughs> Togetherness here. That was weird. That was really good. Oh my gosh, is that good? Okay, you saw earlier where we packed it up so that she can take it to work and she'll be taking a few of these tins to work for her Christmas party. All right, give us a thumbs up on this recipe. Make sure you share it with your family and friends on your social media. Give us a thumbs up, comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. It was really great having Rihanna on the show today. All right. We will see you on the next episode.